All right, so you may be getting like worn out about this welcome back design, but there's one more element I would like to show you in this beginner series of creating a design. We placed this design that we made on a shirt and we added glitter pattern and we used two different fonts and we talked about grouping and welding and that's a lot of information for something new. But we have no graphics or images or anything on this design and sometimes that's something that kind of adds a little bit extra to our shirts. So what I'm going to show you is how to make a simple clip art using Canva. Um, so if you navigate over to your web browser, and in my web browser, I'm already logged into Canva. You can log into Canva using your, your Gmail account or you can create an account. Um, and Canva is just a really nice and easy, simple uh, tool for creating a lot of different things. We're going to use it just to take advantage of their clip art right now. So I'm simply going to add an apple and I'm going to choose a free one and I'm just going to put an apple on the screen like this. And then I'm going to download that apple and I'm going to um, choose either a PNG or a JPEG and since for the purposes of what I'm using it for, a JPEG will do fine. I'm going to go ahead and download that. And then I'm going to save that as Apple clip art. And I'm going to save that clip art to my file folder and then navigate back to Silhouette. In the Silhouette file, I'm going to then bring up my file explorer and go into the folder where I saved my apple and find my apple clip art and drag it into silhouette. Just like we dragged the t-shirt for the mock-up when we were testing out the that method. Now I have my JPEG in here and remember we're not printing we're doing a cutout so if I go to that send tab and I check at what's going to get cut out welcome back is getting cut out but the apple is not so I need to do something in order to get the apple to be recognized as a cutout item and they have this tool here called the trace so if I open the trace panel and I select trace area and I draw a box around the apple and you will see that I can choose either outline or solid fill and then I can trace that apple and if I drag this apple off to the side which is the image you will see the cutout here what you might notice is when I trace this particular image it didn't pick up that green and that's common depending on what images you select whether it recognizes those um, items like if I go back in and select trace area again just so you can see what's happening you'll kind of see how that green is not selected um, and you can adjust the threshold of that item and then you'll see that now oh now the um, leaf is now highlighted and then if you choose trace again and drag this off to the side you've got a little bit different of an image to work with so um, it's kind of nice if you didn't want the leaf um, then it wasn't there and if you do want the leaf now we've discussed how you can maybe use an image and trace it and have it result like this now remember I do not have to color this as a glitter in order to print it out or cut it out as glitter because um, it's just going to cut whatever I put on my sheet whatever we see in those dark red lines when I click on send okay now there are options if I go to the fill that I can um, only cut out what's in the pattern or only cut out what's the no color and see how those those lines go away if I'm using the advanced I can cut everything or I can just cut the welcome back section when I actually save it and send it to my machine um, but in most cases for what we're doing and the way we do things 
um, as far as saving things to a flash drive and then plugging it into a machine, we normally, after we make our initial design, we'll separate it out based on colors. And we'll talk about that in a future video. So keep in mind, this does not have to be changed to glitter, but if we wanted to change it to glitter, like the rest of the design, so we can see what it looks like, I can then change it to glitter, just like my other elements. So I can see what that would look like. And I can also make the lines transparent. And that's adding a shape to my design by using the trace.